Yeah, we've all been there, haven't we? Quiet room, peaceful ambiance, and then... Cue loud crunching noises. The relentless symphony of someone chewing their food as if it's the last meal on earth. Sound familiar? I bet it does. And let me assure you, you're not alone in this. Hey there, world of sound-sensitive individuals and innocent bystanders. Today we're going to dive into the world of public mastication. Specifically, the top three reasons to stop chewing loudly and tips tips for better etiquette. But before we get into that, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, because we post content that will not only make you laugh, but also save your eardrums. Okay, so first off, let me say I'm not trying to shame anyone. We all munch, crunch, and slurp. However, I am here to make a case, a sound case, for why we all should be a bit more mindful about how we sound when we chew. So let's jump into the top three reasons why you should consider lowering the volume on your personal snack concerts. Reason number one, it's all about respect. Imagine you're in the library studying for finals or in a quiet restaurant on a date. You'd want peace, right? Now picture this, the person next to you starts an all-out mouth orchestra. Not quite the soundtrack you want, is it? Reason number two, you might be sparking a misophonia revolt. Misopho what? Misophonia, my friends, is a condition where specific sounds trigger emotional or physiological responses. Some people are exceptionally sensitive to the sound of others chewing. And by sensitive, I mean they might fantasize about launching a celery stick at you. And reason number three, health matters. Chewing loudly often means chewing with your mouth open, which can actually lead to swallowing excess air. And we all know where that leads to. That's right, the other orchestra that nobody asked for. Now let's dive into five practical tips that can help anyone quit the habit of loud chewing. Number one, mindful eating. This is perhaps the most effective method. Be conscious of how you're eating. Notice the sounds you're making and work on minimizing them. This doesn't mean you need to obsess over every bite, but just become more aware of your habits and work on modifying them. Number two, chew with your mouth closed. A lot of the noise comes from eating with an open mouth. Make a conscious effort to keep your mouth closed while you chew. This not only reduces noise, but also helps you enjoy the flavor of the food more. Number three, slow down. We often eat quickly due to hunger or a busy schedule, and this can lead to louder chewing. By slowing down, you not only decrease the noise you make, but also improve digestion and increase enjoyment of your food. Number four, drink water. If your food is too crunchy or chewy, try taking sips of water in between bites. This can soften the food and decrease the amount of noise produced when chewing. Lastly, number five, practice in private. If you're self-conscious about changing your habits in front of others, practice alone. This can help you become more comfortable with quieter chewing, and you can then implement these changes more easily in social settings. Remember, breaking habits can take time, so be patient with yourself. So, the next time you're about to dive into your favorite bag of chips or crunchy veggies, remember, respect, misophonia, and health. Let's dial down the decibels and create a less noisy world, one bite at a time. Now that's something to chew on, right? If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Remember, every like on this video is one less loud chewer in the world. Don't forget to share this with your friends or even your favorite loud chewer. And let's get the message out there. Hit that subscribe button for more content that entertains.